Today, I am bringing you two high protein sandwich options that are being made with the viral cottage cheese flatbread recipe. Hello everyone. I have to tell you one of the things that I absolutely love about social media is that it gives us the opportunity to see people that could be our neighbors do extraordinary things, such as making bread out of cottage cheese, you guys. This is the second time that I'm using this recipe in uh, one of my meals, and I have to tell you, I absolutely love it. But today, I am using it to show you two high-protein sandwich options. One is a BLT, and another one is a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. So you guys, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna roll the footage um, to show you how to put this bread together using cottage cheese and an egg. And while you are watching that, I'm gonna go over to the stove and I'm gonna fry up this egg for one of the two recipes I'm gonna bring you. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So this base recipe is cottage cheese, which I already have in my mixing container. We've got some eggs. And then the seasoning. Okay, you can use an Italian seasoning. I've got Italian seasoning here, garlic powder, some paprika, and I also put some additional chopped up rosemary from my garden because it is fragrant and it's oh so delicious. Let's go ahead and put that in here. And a lot of the low carb breads for extra flavor call for some grated Parmesan cheese. I've got some of that as well. So put that in here. And of course, this is optional, you guys. This is where you customize it and make it your own kind of special. And this is ready. Okay, you guys, so this is my parchment line baking container. It's eight by eight in size. And simply pour it in. Now this is ready to go into my preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, everyone, this egg is done. And did you see just how easy it was to put this bread together? I tell you, absolutely amazing. So a couple things that I want to point out before we put these sandwiches together. One is that if you tried it before with the original recipe and you weren't a fan because of the flavor, then give it some flavor, you guys. I'm telling you, I put those herbs in it. I had some Italian seasoning. I had some fresh rosemary from my garden and some grated Parmesan cheese, absolutely delicious. A game changer for the flavor of this bread. And another thing of note is the fact that when I baked it, it did not get as brown as I wanted it to get. So I put it on the broiler <laughs> for a minute or so, okay? Now, what you see here is what I call the presentation side, but this is actually what it looked like when it came out of the broiler, you guys, just to give it some color, all right? So I just wanted to point that out to you as well, just in case your bread doesn't brown and you end up saying, okay, well, my bread doesn't look like that first. Well, this is why she put it under the broiler. Okay, so having said that, you guys, let's go ahead and put these sandwiches together. All right. So we are going to start with this egg sandwich. Oh my gosh, this egg smells so good. And what I'm gonna do is, now I've seen people just use it just like this and fold it over. I don't know if it's going to break if I do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slice it in half. Okay. All right, you guys. Sandwich number one, we are going to take this Fried egg. A slice of cheese. I happen to have Munster because this is what I had in my fridge, but you can use like provolone. That would be good on this as well. Two slices of bacon and then just cover it over. You guys, you see that? I am in love. Okay, now the second sandwich is going to be a BLT. Now I happen to have some rumelade sauce. 
that was left over from a previous recipe that I made. So good, you guys. I will leave the ingredients for this in my description, but so good. But obviously, put the sauce that of your choosing on this. It can be just a plain mayo. Or no sauce at all. But I know that this is going to give this sandwich an extra boost of flavor. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is put on our bacon, our lettuce. Yeah, I think one piece will do. It's big enough. And then our tomato. And then top it off with this bread. And we have our second high protein sandwich option. And just like that, you guys, we have got ourselves two super clean, gluten-free, low carb, high protein sandwich options, which fits right into my nutritional needs. Because if you've been following me, I am definitely trying to incorporate more protein into my diet. And this, you guys, not only is it delicious, but it's simple, it is easy, and it is oh so good. Give this a try and leave in the comments and let me know how you feel about it. And you guys, I want to thank you so very much for being here. Remember to give this video a like and a share. And also, please do share my channel with those that you feel would benefit from the content that I am bringing you here. If you don't know, I also work out as well, you guys, because I am determined for this chapter of my life to be the best chapter of my life through exercise and food and healthy thinking. So you guys, remember, it is a great day and you continue to make it your own kind of special. And I will see you soon. And enjoy.